if you would look at the screen for our last induction, but never our least, Mr. Sam Lay. Sam Lay becomes, along with Fred Belo, the second of the Chicago blues drummers elected to the Blues Hall of Fame. Sam is one of the rare blues drummers to earn crossover fame in the rock world, playing on Paul Butterfield Band's historic debut album in 1965 and backing Bob Dylan during his electric performance at the 1965 Newport Folk Festival. In Chicago, Lay joined Little Walter's Combo and later Howlin' Wolf's band on such classics as Killing Floor and I Ain't Superstitious. Lay says his drumming trademark, the double shuffle, is based on the double time rhythms of the hand clapping and tambourines he heard in church in Birmingham, Alabama, where he was born. Please welcome to the stage Elvin Bishop and Corky Siegel to induct Sam Lay. I'll be up in a second. I first met Sam when he uh, played was playing with Elvin and Butterfield at Big John's in 1965. And to this day, I never heard such a brilliant group as this four piece with Elvin's beautifully placed guitar licks, by the way. <laughs> the whole band was being driven by Sam, who was coming at you like four multicolored locomotives. <laughs> I played with Sam a bit in 69, but I didn't start our 30-year stint with Siegel Schwal until uh, 87. So in 1971, Sam was not part of my life. In fact, I was steeped in this mission to bring Chicago blues flavor to symphony orchestra. Now picture me in San Francisco surrounded by a hundred classical musicians, a world-renowned maestro, an opera house filled with classical music lovers, and the exclusively classical Deutsche Grammophon waiting to record this for history. Sam Lee was the last thing on my mind when I was interviewed by Rolling Stone magazine for an article called Siegel Schwab Plays the Opera. And I was asked, who is your main musical influence. Here's a quote right from that article from 1971 in the Rolling Stone. <laughs> Corky says his main musical influence was Sam Lay, the drummer with the Paul Butterfield Blues Group. He's the best drummer in the world, says Corky. The best drummer of any sort I've ever heard. He has tasty as ideas of his own, and most of my concepts about the blues are things he showed me, literally written in stone in 1979. Jim Keltner, who drummed for Dylan, Clapton, Lennon, Joe Cocker, George Harrison, he said, when I play the blues, I want to sound like Sam Lay. I want to feel like Sam Lay. I want to be Sam Lay. <laughs> Period. A highly respected jazz drummer from Journey, Steve Smith, came to Chicago and called me. And he sought a private audience with Sam. And he said, every drummer needs to understand what Sam Lay is doing, why he is doing it, and how he is doing it. Charlie Musselwhite said, Sam doesn't just play the drums. Sam sings the drums. <laughs> now imagine the Rolling Stones in their little rooms across the sea, listening over and over to Sam drumming on so many of the chess classic hits, like Holland Wolf's Killing Floor. Well, Sam's history, who he's played with, what he's done, is certainly remarkable. But the music performance, 
he brought to the world in purely musical terms is nothing less than profound. Bob Dylan invited Sam to one of his concerts in Chicago. And he introduced Sam. This is Sam Lay, the world's greatest blues drummer. Sam, after the concert, please come backstage. So Sam went backstage, and then he came back out into the audience. And a bunch of people gathered around Sam. Sam, Sam, what's it like? What's it like to, to hang with a superstar? And Sam said, I guess Bob was thrilled. <laughs> Superstar, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Sam Lay into the Blues Hall of Fame, along with my good friend Elvin Bishop. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to say a couple of words. Corky covered it pretty good. I, all I have is my uh, reminiscences of. Uh, us playing together in the Butterfield Blues Band, and that was a hell of a thing. It was a great adventure for all of us, I think, and um, kind of showed that uh, blues could work outside the ghetto a little bit, you know? And it was like, uh, to, to make a confession, I've been a white person all my life. <laughs> and, and in the early 60s, White people didn't know much about uh, about black people or colored people as we, call, we used to call them then, you know. But because they weren't on TV to any extent, it was before civil rights, and it was a good ed education. I fell in love with blues over the radio. That's the one thing they couldn't segregate in Oklahoma, where I was from. And but I really didn't know much about black culture. Or, uh, that's what the words of the songs meant and all that, you know, and uh, Sam helped to teach me that he was very welcoming and uh, oh, just a beautiful guy, man. You should have seen him. You never knew what he was going to show. We played at this one club from 9 in the evening till 4 in the morning, six days a week till 5 on Saturday. And you, you get a lot of music playing and a lot of uh, improvement done in it. In, 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 Sam would show up with uh, some different outrageous shoes or different suit, or he's the first guy in Chicago with a Beatles haircut. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and it, he, he had a lot to do with the bringing, he knew all the blues players in Chicago. Was, he's always identified as just being the drummer with the, before Butter, Butterfield with the Howlin' Wolf Band, but he played with all kinds of great Chicago blues guy, and he would keep us entertained with good stories, and and I just learned so much from him, and it was such a beautiful experience, and he's a good guy. Sam Lay. Of it. And I thank 
I'm really proud to be alive in my own self, oh, amen. <laughs> I'm kind of like cousin Minnie Plum, I'm just proud to be here. Can't help from looking at it seven. <coughs> For seven to seven to three years, I've been at this one flag. And I hope I'll be around seven to three more years. <laughs> yeah. I mean it. Thank, thank each and every one of you for making this possible for me. I didn't do it myself, I did it with you all's help. And I appreciate it, I love it. And I don't have much to say, I've already talked out. <laughs> but I have to say, God bless you all and everybody that have made this possible for me. Given a reputation for talking too much, so I'm gonna take some of it back. But, <laughs> but this part of it, I'm gonna keep forever. May God bless each and every one of you. And you. I've been blessed already. Get a chance to come back and be with you all. I'm already blessed. I don't know what else I could ask for. I got everything. trying to beat your way through the world. <laughs> so, I did beat good enough to beat up on this. And I thank you so much, everybody. Help me keep the blues alive. <laughs> and I thank, I thank you all so much. This is really an honor. And I truly don't know what to say, but thank you. And I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, one more time. Sam Blake going in.